On this millennial review, we're taking a look at a Ryobi 10 inch miter saw. This is a sliding compound miter saw and it's part number TSS102L. I picked this up uh, from Home Depot. It usually runs about $230. Uh, occasionally you can find it on sale. But the reason I picked this one up is this is, uh, should be a very good quality, like homeowner's version of a compound miter saw. Um, and what that means is it is going to be sliding. You're gonna be able to do uh, a 45 degree angle on this as well, as well as a uh, 90 degree cross cut. And it's a 10 inch blade size, which means it's a very common size blade. Uh, so it should be pretty easy to replace. Now, another thing that I like is this is gonna have a laser, which is gonna help set up, uh, especially if you're trying to make sure that you make the you know, right joints for doing things like say baseboards or things like that. So what we're gonna do is we'll pop it out of the box, we'll see what comes inside, and then I'll use it and let you know my thoughts on it uh, after I'm done. So inside the box, comes a nearly fully assembled uh, version of the saw here. It is sliding as we said before. It's going to have this little lock mechanism that allows you to lock the blade down when it's in storage. And then you're going to be able to adjust the angle on the chop pretty easily by this small lever there. And then you can tighten in and that'll actually lock it into place so you can't move it. Now what's, uh, what's pretty neat is if you look at this side it's going to have a little indicator there that's going to show you the angle so as you go you can set it up to exactly the angle that you want and it clips right into place and of course the protector is going to automatically rise up so that way as you're cutting something uh, you don't have to worry about dealing with this now it did come with a dust collector that wasn't pre-installed but this is pretty easy you just slide it right onto the back uh, and it installs. But something that I definitely like about it is it came with this little clamp and this clamp is going to help by allowing you to just slide it right into place. You've got one on each side and then you're going to be able to tighten up using this lever so that way you can keep your material that you're working on in place. The last thing that's pretty neat is it does come with an extended gate that you can slide into the end. You have one for each side. Um, so that's an overview of what comes inside. I do like how it's all put together already, but let's go ahead, put it through its paces and see how it works. So I've got the saw set up right here, ready to be used. And as you can see behind me, I've basically got a big pile that I want to go through, cut down, uh, and just be able to put in a pile to use as firewood for later. This was stuff uh, that was used for another project around the house. No special cuts here, but basically I need to cut it down and just go through. And so I want to see how quickly and how efficiently this can do it. So let's take a look down at the saw and check it out. So we'll go ahead and start with our first piece of wood. And basically, you can place this right down and uh, give it a good cut. Went through pretty easy. On to the next. So one other thing to check out while I'm doing this is going to be the laser. It's super easy to turn on. So basically what you do is right on the top, you've got this rocker switch on off. It's really hard to see just because of how bright it is outside, but basically it gives a perfect indicator right where the cut is going to be. And that allows you to come right down and you can see the indicator line right on there. So you know exactly where your blade's going to cut. So it's been cutting one of these just fine, no problem. Let's go ahead, see what happens when we step it up to two at a time. So I've got two boards at right here.
doesn't even seem to phase it. We'll do a couple more cuts. So it does two no problem. Let's go ahead, give it a shot with three. Three of these boards stacked on top and this is where that clamp to hold it down would come in, uh, come in pretty handy. Definitely puts a little extra load on it, but you can see uh, it cut through those just fine. The sun's going down and it's about to rain, so it's time for me to wrap up this review. Uh, I gotta say that I really like this saw. Uh, it seems to work incredibly well. I've done a ton of loads of wood just like this, uh, one right after another, and uh, this puppy has kept up really well. You know, I could see getting a nicer saw blade as a good upgrade for it, because this saw blade is pretty coarse, it gets the job done, but I wouldn't use it for baseboards or crown molding or things like that. Uh, but overall, I gotta say that this thing, uh, it works incredible. Uh, it's been a pretty good workhorse, and I can imagine this will last for quite a while into the future. So thanks for watching this Millennial Review. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And then as well, I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. So be sure to drop them down there.